Chalk up a rare positive for the pandemic in the way that we have reimagined our public spaces. To that end, Denver is going to let restaurants keep their expanded patios for another year. In some cases, that means keeping streets closed in order to make places where people can hang out, have a drink, eat. Imagining that future taught our Steve Steger a fun new word. For years, city planners and safe streets advocates have pushed for this, shutting down some streets to cars so that people can walk around. It took a pandemic to get more people on board. For those of us in the industry, it was like, see, <laughs> told you. Andrew Ildis so, is a mobility uh, planner so yeah, for the Downtown think, Denver Partnership. Was... You gotta take the wins when they come, right? Jill Locantori, you know, the executive director of the Denver Streets Partnership. She's been preaching this for years. About 80% of our public space and cities are streets. And there's a whole lot we can be doing with that space besides driving and storing cars. Denver's temporary patio extensions for restaurants will now last through October of next year. That program has closed six roads to traffic, including Larimer in Larimer Square. Once you get on a street like this, all of a sudden you can hear other people talking, you can hear laughter, you can hear doors opening and closing. You start to gain more of a sense of where you are. You don't have that constant rumble from one direction or another. So what's the future beyond 2022 for places like this? The city isn't making anything official. We could see some permanent closures. We could also see some more concepts with a funny name, Voonerf, a Dutch word for street design that makes some roads uncomfortable for drivers. When you slow cars down enough and you really create an environment that is for people walking, probably some for people biking, that cars become the guests to the space. There's a pretty good example of a Voonerf on 39th Avenue between Franklin and Williams near the new 39th Avenue Greenway. The road is narrow, meant for cars to slow down and share the road. Just a possible option I had to point out, partially because I love saying the word Voonerf. I think there is an opportunity here that uh, that we should be looking at very seriously going forward and uh, and hopefully figure out how to how to blur those lines a little bit further. Advocates for safer streets will have to keep fighting, but the way we've been living for the past year and a half may make that fight a little easier. Sometimes it's hard for people to imagine what change will look like, and so they resist it ahead of time. You have to have a place like this for people to start to fall in love with it. For next, I'm Steve Steger, Voonerf. <laughs> the city says there has not been a major traffic impact that they have registered from any of the six streets closed by the program, so relatively painless Voonerfing. And the city has not received any additional applications for new street closures for patios this summer.